Hi, welcome back my programming fanatics, Max here. In today's tutorial, we'll be looking at a combo hit system. Let's get started. This is Bob. Bob is a fully rigged person and he's had a bit of a makeover since the last tutorial. I've also added a wooden stick figure which will act as the enemy for Bob to kick around. Now, I've also added four animations, an idol, two punches and a kick for Bob to perform. So you'll need some of these yourself. The first thing we need to do is create an animator controller. You can call it whatever you want. And then I'm going to create my first state, which should be the idle animation. So I'm just going to drag in my idle animation into the slot. The next thing we need is the first punch. So just create another state and add the animation and then create a transition between the states. And then you'll do the same for the second punch and then finally the kick. And then we need to create some transitions back to the idle just in case our player doesn't make it through the combo. And the last thing we need to do is create some parameters. So some triggers to trigger the next animation. So I'm going to have animation one for the punch, animation two for the next punch and animation three for the final punch. And then we're going to need a trigger for a reset just in case the person doesn't click enough to get all the way through the combo. And then we need to assign some of these triggers to the transitions. So animation one between idle and the first punch and then animation two between the animation of the first punch and the second, and then animation three between the second punch and the kick. And then we'll need to assign the reset between any state and the idle. And then we just need to drag the animator controller into the animator slot on our player, and then make sure our idle animation plays on a loop. And now we can move on to some scripting. So just attach a script to our player, and then we can create a list containing all our trigger names so we don't have to reference them one by one. So list data type string, anim list equals new list, string, and then new string, square brackets, and then all the animation trigger names. Animator anim, which is our animator, a public integer combo, so which combination we're on, and then a public float reset, and then a public float reset time. So these will help us reset our combo if we don't click fast enough. So now we're gonna want to get some inputs. So if input.get button down and then fire one, which is the left clicking button on the mouse, and the combo is less than three. So there's another animation to be played, then we're gonna want to trigger another animation. So animator.set trigger and then the combo number which will reference one of the triggers on our list. And then we're gonna want to add one to our combo number so it doesn't reference the same animation again, and then reset our timer. So just put a reset equals zero, and then an F, and an F stands for float, since this value is supposed to be a float. And then we're gonna want to reset the combo back to idle if our player isn't clicking enough. So if combo number is bigger than zero, so basically if the, an animation is playing, then reset plus equals time dot delta time. So we're gonna add seconds onto our reset value, you know, per second. And then if reset is bigger than reset time, then we're gonna want to activate the trigger reset so that our animation goes back to the idle. So animator dot set trigger reset. And then we're gonna to want to set the combo back to zero because now it's in our idle animation. Since our third animation is the final move and it's a bit longer than the rest, we're going to need to set the reset timer a bit longer. So if combo number equals three, then the reset time should also equal three F and the combo number should equal to zero again because since this is the final animation, it needs to reset back to the idle and else reset time should equal to one. Now all we need to do is assign our animator into our script and your combo should work and it should look something like this. So now we've got the combo down, we're going to want to make our enemy. So first we're going to want to attach a collider to our enemy so that it can detect the punches and kicks. So I'm going to add a capsule collider. Now if you want to be able to throw your enemy around like a ragdoll, you're going to need to add a rigid body. Since we want to detect some punches and kicks, we're going to need to add some colliders to our player, so to his hands and feet. But since the floor is also a collider, our wooden stick figure or enemy won't be able to detect whether it's a fist or the floor. We're going to need to add a tag and we'll just call it 
impact. Now I'm just gonna add some colliders to my guy Bob and just tag all of these colliders with impact. To show how much health the enemy has, we're going to need some kind of indicator. So I'm just gonna add a text, a 3D text on top of my enemy. And then we can move on to some scripting. So just create a script and attach it to the enemy. You can delete the void start and the void update. All we need is an on collision event because we just wanna detect if we're getting punched. So we're going to need a using unity engine.ui because we have a text to change. So we're gonna to want to reference the text. So public text mesh health indicator. And then we need a value for our health. So public integer health equals 100. And then we just put our on collision enter and if collision dot game object dot tag equals impact. So if the collisions tag is impact, then health equals health minus 10. So it'll take off 10 from our health. And then health indicator dot text equals health. And then, well, the actual health. So this will update the health score. I mean, update the health. Now, if health is smaller or equal to zero, then I'm just gonna set my game object to active but you'll probably wanna play some kind of death animation or something. And that's it. So your game should look something like this. And that's all for this tutorial. If you enjoyed, click like, comment down below, and even consider subscribing. If not, I'll see you next time.